Hi, my name's Matt, and sometimes I wear a hat. Hi guys, um, yeah, that was my little joke, expect one or two more in the future, but I know I haven't uploaded anything in a while because I've been a little busy, but after seven weeks, seven weeks, seven months of gathering dust and bits being scattered all around my house, um, I finally finished my Raven and I love it. I've always liked the Raven. I always will like the Raven. Um, it's just such a cool design and it feels so comfortable. Um, this is in no way endorsed or um, subsidised or whatever by Project Math. This t-shirt came from my good friend Chris, um, I suggest you check out Project Nerf channel as well because they're awesome and Chris is brilliant, he's, he's a genius, uh, Chris is brilliant um, and a good friend so hey Chris if you're watching you're a good mate. Anywho back to my raven I had, well, I still have three ravens now. Um, this has been in a state of limbo for seven months, like I said, um, until I decided that I'd lipo it and it wasn't that difficult. Um, and also include a voltmeter. Um, and it just seemed daunting at first. But uh, once you get down to it, really, it's basically a strife um, rewire. If you know how to rewire a strife, you can rewire a Raven. It's that easy. This one, I did put active motor braking on. Um, as well as a nice big can. And it's an aluminium, aluminium one, or aluminum, as the Americans will say. And it does have a nice muzzle extension slash flash hider. And it does have a satisfying sound when you attach it. Um, there's a spike laser sight, which from my testing has proved once I once I've got it dialed in properly um, at about 40 feet it dominates, it's perfect. Um, instead of having the standard horrible stick your thumb underneath and push the button, um, I 3D printed myself, oops, I 3D printed myself a paddle um, release. So even though the mag is out now, slap it in, locked. And you can just grab it like that. So you don't have to fiddle with the hole inside. There's also um, a voltmeter integrated into it through the top. And I decided to put a dedicated switch for it rather than have a jam door switch. Because to me it's a bit meh. But no. The voltmeter is perfectly good and it works off its own dedicated switch. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it does have its own dedicated switch underneath the bottom sling loop. So you can turn it on and it's reading 8.2 volts at the moment. Um, what else have I done? Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Yeah, I cleaned out all of the circuit. I just started it from scratch. I melted my stock flywheel cage with a hairdryer, which was ridiculous. And then I bought one from Out of Darts, a replacement 43 mil cage. And after looking at how much the cage cost for a 3D printed part and the ridiculous price on postage, it's not out of God's fault, it's, it's just the, the postage issues. Um, I went, well, if I'm paying £20 almost for, a fly, for one flywheel cage, and the postage how many more blasters am i gonna mod with my own cages so i just bought a 3d printer instead um this is running a 43 millimeter cage um with worker white wheels because uh, they were all i had to hand I would have used Bulldogs, but I didn't. Um, and it runs on two honey badgers off the lipo that quite happily fits inside with just tiny door bulge. Just, it's barely noticeable. Um, the spin up times, head bone wearers, be ready, are quite quick. And as you can tell, it's quite loud. But with the active motor braking, it stops really quickly. Um, one weird thing I found out is if you pull the trigger before you pull the rev trigger, it automatically starts to flywheels. Um, Shouldn't have done that, but still. It's got a standard tack rail on top, which I painted the tack rail um, nubbin thing. Black underneath the laser sight, it's a white one on a black rail. I went for kind of a monochrome look on it, having it black and white. But I thought, hey, why not paint a nice red? And I do it on both sides, taking out Hasbro, both sides. Um, a nice red racing stripe that goes all the way around. I, um, and just little highlights that I just picked out in black. Um, and the whole back stock area. And it it looks okay for me. Um, I think. I mean, it's been there seven months, so over the time I've I've developed more more skills and learned more things, and um, I think that was a benefit because it works and it's good. Um, even even with the cannon and the huge barrel, which is about at least well about a foot long, it's still really accurate and it still hits quite hard, even though it's using honey badgers. Um, you occasionally get dart burn but not very much there's the occasional dart decapitation but meh um like i've got glue i can just glue the tip back in that's why i made some franken darts um franken darts being um ones that are decapitated and stuck different heads on different foam um but apart from that, um, yeah, it was one of the old school, old school green baby stick coloured uh, ravens, 
and no it's not which is much nicer and my test for stock length is if you've if you're holding the grip and you can fit it into the crook of your elbow then it's good to tuck in and it's nice and tight you don't really need a huge stock on these things these things are meant for cqc so it's it's comfortable and it's maneuverable and that is one of the most important things um i also forgot to say um pleased with the voltmeter pleased with the motors very pleased with the worker silencer actually if you look it up the patent says silencer it doesn't say suppressor people always go oh no it's a suppressor yeah it's a suppressor but the original patent for them says it's a silencer so but that was in the 1800 like 1840 something um but yeah, everything else is pretty much standard, apart from the nice paddle and the flywheel cage, flywheels, motors, um, 21 amp switch, um, 16 gauge wire all through, uh, anything else? No, I think that's about it. Apart from that, it's pretty cool. I like it. And this, if I make it to Foam Fest this year, which I really, really hope to. So, subscribe, subscribe, like, because I need monetization so I can go to Foam Fest. And all you people should pay me and give me money for nothing because I'm welcome now. Sorry. Um, um, Nah, I'll pay out my own pocket because it's my thing. I'll be doing it, I'll be having fun. And you'll get the videos for free if I make it. So, anywho, um, yeah, everything else works as is, as standard in a Raven, Raven Fire, an Elite Raven. This is just your stock end strike. I mean, thankfully I didn't have to paint the jam door, which was nice. Um, and it is really, really nice. One thing I will have to point out is these OEO mags that were reviewed, a few people have review, reviewed them. If you look, all I did was touch that and the follow-up has stuck. You have to really, look, it's stuck, pop. The follower is so sticky on these things that they just do not feed that reliably from a fully auto system or... Um, if you if you're firing rapidly with um, a semi-auto, the feed is really um, inconsistent. I mean, it's stuck again. Like smack it, and it, it comes back up. But there, look, stuck again. Back up. So they're okay, and they rattle. Um, but yeah, not as good as. Um, unfortunately, blaster parts mags do not fit in certain mag wells because they're slightly about a mil too wide. Um, this way. So they get sort of stuck around here and they won't go in. Uh, the worker ones are absolutely fine.
I'm sure you could probably put a big 22 in there and make it look super ridiculous, but hey, horses for courses. One thing I, I do like is the paddle rather than the button. I mean, it's just so much easier to mag swap. But there you go. That's the overview of my seven month project on my Raven, on one of my Ravens. Uh, the next one I will most likely put a battery somewhere else because I want to get a full auto kit um, and then upgrade and change the motors in one of them to probably fang revamps or near yeah, rhinos um with a oh no actually just fang revamps with a honey ba honey badger pusher that'll be fine because i can run that on a 2s system no problem um it's just finding the space to put a full auto kit in there because it's going to take up that part pretty much so you can't really put a lipo in the stock well i say stock i mean back um otherwise i love it i've been playing with it for quite a while around the house and shooting various things um Tom from Foam Data Services has suggested some chronos for me um, so I can get my own chrono. Um, if there's anybody out there willing to send me a chrono barrel, I'd be more than grateful. Um, but yeah, check out Project Nerf. Great guys. Chris, legend absolute master and i suggest you check out the video of his full auto demolisher which i intend to do as well with my ultimate customization kit demolisher but yeah i hope you've had a great day and i hope you have more so take care wear eye protection most importantly Hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell icon so you get notified when I actually do upload something else. But I'm not sure what yet. But oh well. And I've got some work to do for other people too. So I have been, and I always will be, Matt. And I will see you, hopefully... Or you will see me, hopefully, very soon. Take care, guys. And have a blast.